It's being called a blockbuster new study that questions the effectiveness of stents and bypass surgeries in some heart patients. The research found in certain cases, lifestyle changes and medication were just as effective at preventing heart attack and death. But doctors warn this is not the case for everyone. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes has the story. Chest pain, like a feeling of tightness. When Malka Perkal first noticed something wasn't quite right several years ago with her heart, she initially took medication, then tried making some changes. Diet and exercise. She didn't rush into an invasive procedure, such as stents or a heart bypass. There soon be more patients like her due to the results of a new large international study. It looked at more than 5,000 people with blocked arteries, but without severe symptoms symptoms like extreme pain or heart attack. It found that regularly taking medications like aspirin along with lifestyle changes was just as effective at preventing heart attacks and premature death as invasive procedures like bypass surgeries and stents. Study chair Dr. Judith Hockman is from NYU Langone here in Manhattan. It's very likely that the study results will lead to less cardiac catheterizations less stents and bypass surgery in patients that are stable whose symptoms can be well controlled with medicines. The research and other local cardiologists point out this does not mean there's no role for these procedures. It depends on each individual patient. This study was for the gray area, the, the patients who are stable with heart disease. What do we do with them? For Perkel, her symptoms worsened and she eventually did need a stent, a tiny tube inserted to help keep her artery open. Dr. Salman Sharma put one in at Mount Sinai Hospital last April. I went home and I in instantly felt much better. Dr. Sharma praised this latest research but cautions patients to read the fine print. So yes, initial strategy of medical therapy is completely fine. But if you have continued symptoms, it's better off you go to the cath lab and get it fixed. The study authors estimate at least a half a billion dollars a year would be saved by not doing these procedures. Dr. Sharma says now he won't rush into doing them for about 15% of their patients. On the east side of Manhattan, Andrea Grimes, CBS2 News. The study did find that certain patients will have a greater lasting improvement in quality of life if they do have an invasive heart procedure.